Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in this particular video, we'll be writing our first Python program. So for this, I open up my Google Collaboratory. So here, I'm going to execute the first program. So the first program would be the Hello World program. So this is the common program for all the languages, which is nothing but Hello World. So here, we just need to print one Hello World message in the console, right? So how to print this particular Hello World in the console inside Python? So for this, I'm going to use one uh, function called print. Okay, you can see print is a word. Okay, whenever I'm giving this particular parenthesis okay that means the first bracket now it is becoming a function okay it is becoming a function you can see the color is changing now let's see if i remove this particular bracket you can see initially it was white color now whenever i'm assigning this particular parenthesis it is becoming one function now guys if you hover your mouse on top of this particular print function now here you can see print is a built-in function inside python you can see print is a built-in function built-in function built-in means so built-in function means it is already built in inside python okay so here we are not implementing this particular print function it is already built in inside python so still if you have confusion about the function like what exactly this function is i can give you one simple explanation so after that particular explanation this particular uh, uh concept would be uh, clear in your mind see just try to consider function is an entity it takes one input okay and it gives one output okay it will do some processing inside a function and it will give you the output so i think in mathematics you have learned the function okay in mathematics you have learned the function let's say f is a function okay so inside that you are doing something let's say um, two time x plus three that means if i pass x is equal to okay if i pass let's say x is equal to three inside this particular function so three will come here so it would be two time three plus three that means if you just multiply uh, 6 plus 3 and it will become and it will become 9. Okay, that means as an input, okay, as an input, okay, as an input to this particular function, that means f of x, okay, you are passing something called 3. Okay, you are passing something called 3. And as an output, okay, as an output, what, do you, what you are getting, you are getting 9. That means something is happening in the backend inside a function okay only as a user you are giving input and you are getting output okay and something is happening in that particular function okay so this is called function this is called function in mathematics okay this is called function in mathematics so similar concept is also used inside programming language okay so in programming language they also created some of the function let's say whenever i was writing print function print function okay so print takes one input and it will give you one output that means it will take one input and it will take uh, give you one output okay so now i think this part is clear what is function exactly right now let's try to see like how we can pass the input inside a print function and um, let's see like how it gives the output so let's say i want to print hello world message so inside that what i have to do i have to give one single quotation okay single quotation inside that i i can write hello world okay hello world any kinds of message you can write not only hello world any kinds of message you can write now first of all let's print the hello world now if i want to execute this particular code what i have to do i have to click here i have to click on this particular cell you can see run cell i have to click now if i click here now guys you can see hello world has been printed inside my console okay hello world is printed inside my console now see here i have given single quotation now you can ask me sir can i give double quotation yes you can also give double quotation as well so inside python actually double quotation single quotation it doesn't matter you can pass anything so now you can see here i can give double quotation instead of single quotation now again if i execute still it will work see it will give me hello world okay that means inside this particular print function i'm giving one input and here i'm getting one output okay and to get this particular output something is happening inside the print function some logic is happening inside print function. Some code is already written inside print function. Okay. So this particular code we haven't written. It is already predefined code from the Python side. So Python developer has written this particular code for us. Okay. And they created this particular print function for us. Okay. So what I have to do, I have to give an input and I have to get an output. That is the only thing I have to do. Okay. So that's why I told you it has already lots of batteries included. Okay. So that means lots of predefined functions are available. With the help of that, you can easily write your code. So this is the first program guys if you are able to print this particular hello world congratulations you are able to write your first program inside python and you are also getting the output of this particular program now see here i executed this particular program by executing this particular cell there is another execution way you can do let's say i can um, copy this particular code in this particular cell see how i am taking the new cell so if you just click here and if you hover here you can see code is coming 
Now click on the code, it will give you a new cell. Okay, it will give you a new cell. Okay, you can also delete this particular new cell. There is a delete button. Okay, that's how you can take a new cell, you can delete the new cell. Now see, if I want to execute this particular cell without using this particular button, I can do it. For this, I have to just press shift enter, shift enter from my keyboard. See, if I execute shift enter, still this particular program would be executed cell by cell. Okay, that's how we can execute any kinds of program, right? So now let's print any other sentence actually. So instead of printing hello world, I can print also other sentence. So for this, again, I'm going to take this particular print function. Inside that, I'm going to write my name. Let's say Bappi Ahmed, okay? So now if I again uh, press uh, shift and enter, so it will execute this particular cell and I will get the console output, okay? Now one question guys, I want to ask you. Now let's say if I'm writing this particular sentence like that, instead of giving the double and single quotation, I'm writing this particular sentence like that, Bappi Ahmed. Now, if I execute this particular cell, will it work? Just try to uh, pause this particular video and try to think, will it work? Yes or no? Okay. See, if I execute this particular cell, it will give me an error. Okay. It will give me an error. The error would be invalid syntax. Uh, perhaps you forget a comma. Okay. Perhaps you forget a comma. That means this is not a correct way to write that particular sentence. Okay. So inside Python, we are having a couple of data types. Okay. Data types means like, let's say integer data type string data type, floating data type, boolean data type, okay, complex data type. I'll be telling you this particular data type in detail. As of now, just try to consider inside Python, we are having some of the data type. Whatever data we are writing, it is having one type. That means the data I'm using here, it's a string type data. Here we are writing a sentence, we are writing a word. Okay, and whenever you are writing a sentence and word, you have to pass inside a double quotation or inside a single quotation. Whenever you can see this particular double quotation and single quotation, that time you can consider it's a string type data. It's a string type data inside a Python. Okay, it's a string type data inside a Python, right? And without uh, double quotation and single quotation, if you're passing any kinds of word and sentence, this would be considered as a syntax error. That means invalid syntax. So that's why actually we can't write this particular uh, word and sentence without using any kinds of double quote and single quote, okay? So this is an invalid syntax output. Now we can ask, sir, uh, instead of printing actually uh, this particular word and sentence, can I print any number? Can I print any floating number, like a decimal number? Definitely you can do it. For this, let's see one ex experiment. So here I can take this particular print function inside that I can give seven. Okay, or I can give let's say nine. Now if I execute, see this particular nine would be printed. This particular nine would be printed. Now I can also print a decimal number. So here I can give print and inside that I can write 9.9. .9. Okay, now if I execute again, see 9.9 .9 would be printed. So again, I can also print like any other type data inside Python. Let's say I'm going to use Boolean type. I'll tell you this particular Boolean type. Boolean type means true and false okay only true and false now see if i execute still it will work okay it will give me the true output now i can also print multiple data type in uh, one particular uh, print function it is also possible so see guys print is like very a uh, powerful function so inside print function you can do lots of things okay you can uh, do lots of things i'll tell you what are the things actually you can do now i'm going to tell you one very powerful functionality of the print function see here i can give multiple actually data type let's say hello i can give i can also give let's say some number let's say one, I can give, let's say four, uh, three, I can give, let's say five. Okay. Then again, I can give, let's say some decimal value, let's say 5.5, 5, uh, 5 5.6. And I can also give, let's say some Boolean value, let's say true. Now, if I execute this particular code, you will see that all the number would be printed. All the data would be printed. Hello, one, uh, three, five, five point six. Okay. Then true. Everything is printing inside the console. So that much actually powerful it is. So it can't only print actually one specific data, it can print actually multiple data. Okay, multiple data type with the help of one print function. Now you can ask me, sir, why it is printing in a line and why there is a space? Because here I haven't given any space. Let's say if I'm removing this particular space as well. See, there is no space. Now still if I execute this particular program, space is coming. Why space is coming? Now just try to see carefully. So if I write a print function, Okay, if I write a print function and if I wait for some times, if I wait for some times, you will see some suggestion I will get here. Some description I will get here for the print function. Like what is this particular print function and what this particular print function takes as an input. You can see the first input, it takes the value. That means the value we have given like hello, seven, nine, whatever things we have given, this is called value. There is another parameter called separator. You can see separator. Separator means like the separator you can see like after hello, what would be the separator, whether it's a space, whether it's a uh, new line or whether it's a hyphen, whether it's a comma, whether it's a like full stop. So this is called actually separator. Now you can see by default, this particular separator is a space. Okay. It's a empty. That means it's a space. Okay. Separator is space. 
now you can change this particular separator anytime with the help of any kinds of with the help of any kinds of symbol okay with the help, help of any kinds of symbol you can change this particular separator okay now let's try to see one example so what i can do i can copy this particular code and inside that i can paste now here i can pass this particular separator parameter sep is equal to here i can write i want to separate this particular uh like line with the help of this particular hyphen okay hyphen side sign now if i execute this particular program now you'll be able to see that after hello hyphen is coming then one then again hyphen everywhere actually hyphen is assigned that means now the separator is hyphen okay you can also use any other symbol let's use let's say i want to use this particular uh, comma see now it is using comma okay it is using comma so that's how actually you can play with different different parameter inside python okay and it's like very powerful function they have developed now one thing i just wanted to tell you let's say there is a two print uh, statement i'll be writing let's say the first uh, print statement let's say buppy and the second print statement i can write let's say ahmed okay now if i execute this particular program now tell me what would be the output you can see first of all buppy will come then ahmed is coming why it is coming like that okay why it is coming like that because i was expecting after buppy ahmed will come but why it is coming like that okay there is another region again just write this particular print function and wait for some time so it will get this particular suggestion now you can see there is another parameter called end so end is equal to slash n slash n means like the new line okay slash n means like new line that means after buppy one new line would be printed then in in that particular new line ahmed would be printed now you can also play with this particular parameter okay instead of like uh, taking this particular end line what you can do again i can um, copy this particular code and here i can mention now there is a parameter i told you called end okay end so end is equal to here i can write i don't want to take this particular end instead of that what i can do i want to take let's say hyphen now see after buppy one hyphen will come and ahmed is coming now instead of taking hyphen let's say i want to take i want to take let's say um i want to take a space okay so for this i'll just remove this particular hyphen now if I execute this particular program see uh, buppy hamid is coming but there is no space so what i can do i can give a space here now if i execute now see space will come okay so that's how we can play with different different parameter inside a print function okay i hope this part is clear guys so guys this is the print function this is the first program we have written i hope you enjoyed this particular session so that's how actually we'll be doing lots of hands-on we'll be learning each and everything of the python okay whatever things actually required uh uh, to learn that particular programming language to master that particular programming language definitely i will teach you each and everything so yes guys this is all about from this particular video so in the next video i'll be discussing about the python data types what are the data types uh, available inside python okay we'll be understanding in detail so with that guys uh, thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time